Hey everybody, welcome to Obscurities in Miniatures. Today we have a visual treat that comes to us from Bite the Bullet Miniatures. Now, if you've watched this channel before, you may know that there are two things, much like peanut butter and chocolate, that I feel go together great, and that is Samurai and Dragonborn. And unfortunately, not that many people seem to have the same uh, majestic taste and quality that I do, but Bite the Bullet certainly does, and they put out a model recently as part of their seasonal rewards, which are basically, you know, what you get if you continue to back their Patreon monthly, uh, and that is Ryuma the Cursed Dragoniborn. So here we go, check this out. Um, we have a big, and I mean big, honking, heavily armored, very ornamental, Samurai Dragonborn, actually with a third eye. It's kind of hard to discern. I've just got him pulled off the print bed. But if you check out the renders on their Patreon page or on my mini factory, which I will have linked down below if you want to grab this guide, uh, you can definitely see that there. But there is a lot going on. Just look at the elaborate work going on with his armor on the chest plate. He's got the faces on the knees. Skulls embedded in the shoulders, a very long fancy blade, got the fancy ribbons twirling everywhere, and everything turned out just about perfect, except there's a little blemish here, and that's probably on me from the base, but nice detailed base. It's a 40 millimeter base, in case you're curious. And when I said this guy is big, I mean, he, he really is. So, I showed off a couple of their Dragonborn before. Just to give you an idea, so here is a regular size. I've got this Paladin on a 30 millimeter base, so he is a good head or two taller than him, along with the Rogue on a 30 as well. Of course, he is a bit hunched over, and you might remember my awesome Metal Bard that I embiggened as well, and even he is still kind of dwarfed by Ryuma here. For whatever reason, the first time I saw it, I saw Ryuma and the Cursed, and I thought they were going to do Ryoga, the Cursed Piglet Boy. A couple of other random samurai models, because why not? Let's get some comparisons for comparison's sake. This big massive monster is from Titan Forge, one of my recent acquisitions I've been waiting to show off. He should be in his own video soon. Uh, this guy is Ragey the Firewind from Signum Games. Getting an old Test of Honors medal in there when Warlord was producing it. So, you can see he's a pretty impressive looking model. I think even at 32 millimeter, or if you're gonna dink it down to, you know, 25 millimeter stuff, you wanna have it mixed in with historicals for some weird reason. I mean, hey, go at it, right? But I gotta say, uh, for a nice single piece design, this meets all my expectations. Of course, I'm sure I'm going to do an absolutely horrific job attempting to paint it, but that's always half the fun. Even these big bad bugbears that they did are still no match for our fancy swordsman here. I'm even halfway tempted to shrink him down a little bit and make a, a more heroic scale version of it, but I was thinking, I was thinking with some of the human models, it'd be like all Altered Beast style. I loved Altered Beast. I played way too much Altered Beast as a kid. But yeah, overall, very cool model. And one of the nice things I do appreciate the Bite the Bullet does is if you're not a regular backer, and if you're not, shame on you, they put out some really cool stuff, uh, they do offer up these files uh, for purchase on my mini factory. And I might want to add that if you are a Patreon, that they usually have a nice chunky discount as well. So, you know, best of both worlds, right? It's definitely something to keep an eye on. So yeah, I think it may be a little bit large for your average hero character. I mean, getting some other regular sized humans in here, just to give you guys an idea. If you were to go that route as a playable character, that might be an issue. He's definitely quite large in that regard. But, you know, he would certainly make a good big bad at that point, I think, or some kind of Lieutenant to the Major Domo type. So, yeah, we got a Wiz Kids figure here GW, Frostgrave, 
Here is a regular Mantic Human. One of the older, no, I take that back. Not one of the older, one of the newer Basilian models. Plastic guy. A Reaper Human. And just because we're going by big models on the table, Conquest is probably the biggest at the moment, and even that is still dwarfed by our majestic samurai dragon, Dr Dragoniborn. I don't know what a Dragoniborn is. Maybe somebody can uh, help me out with that. Maybe it's a trademark thing. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, definitely cool model. And like I said, we'll have a link down below if you want to snatch one up yourself and get printing on that. I haven't seen any printed, printed, painted copies on my mini factory yet, so hopefully we will see some soon. And if we don't, I guess I'm just going to have to be the first one, unless one of you all want to beat me to it. So, with that said, this has been High Lord Tamerlane with Obscurities and Miniatures. Say it, thanks for watching, and we will see you back here soon. Bye-bye.